Hey everybody, the Banya series give you a brand new Let's Play. Zwei, the Argus Adventure for PC. Now, I never even played this game before, but I've seen screenshots of it in the past. It actually does look pretty cool, and there's another game on the same series called The Ilvard Insurrection. So I got both games on Steam. I believe I got them when they were on sale. So we're gonna check this one out. Start a new game. Please enter the girl's name. Uh, Papiro Pockle. They almost look indistinguishable at that point outside of the hair. Select your desired pet. Instead of a cat, I want a dog. Which one do I want? Actually, you know what? I like this one better. Actually, no. Let's let's go with this one. Pochi. I guess we'll go to default names. I don't really feel like naming anything. Anime esque intro. Falcom presents. Wait, this game originally came out in 2001? Well, hopefully, it's not too loud or anything. Oh yeah, I think that might be a bit loud. At least the intro sounds really poppin'. What a majestic world, and they have no guardrails around it. Well, you're not gonna fall off. Be surprised. I'm thinking I turned down the master volume and options. I don't know if it affects the intro music. That intro cost the company two million dollars. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it down before we even worry about our eardrums getting blown out again. Pipiro! Wake up, Pipiro! Cream puffs with custard and strawberries! And chocolate and their ice cream puffs. And they are ice cream puffs. <laughs> Pipero, wake up! If we're late again, Sister Raspberry said we could get double the homework. It's fine, it's fine. If I get double the homework, I'll just make you do it. Easy peasy. Wake up already! And now she is deaf. Good morning, Papiro. Huh? Paco? Where's my cream puff? Eh, 
Still half asleep, I see. How about you go wash your face real quick before we head out? But, but, but I, I don't wanna. Wah. Well, what's the matter? Are you feeling sick or something? Sick as hell. You gonna let me sleep another three minutes to finish eating? But no. Give me back my cream puff, you destroy our dreams. I, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I did make us lunch. So, truce? I don't care about lunch. I want dessert. Wait, did you say lunch? That's right. The ball's gonna toll noon any second now. And I made your favorite black tea muffins, Papiro. So come on out whenever you're ready. Look at that waddle animation. Ooh, actually that really does smell pretty good. <coughs> Guess I better get dressed. Man, I'm stuffed. That was really delicious. You've upped your game again, Pockle, haven't you? Why, thank you for noticing. Though I do wish you make a meal or two every now and then. Feels a little one-sided here sometimes. Oh, that's just your imagination. Besides, I'm not too proud to admit my fingers are poorly suited to such tasks. I'd rather leave it to the pro, so the meat and veggies get to fulfill a higher purpose. Well, I guess that makes sense. Sort of. When I eat your delicious cooking, not only am I happy, but the ingredients are too. It's win-win. Well, okay. I feel kind of like I'm being tricked here, but sure, win-win it is. Though right now, we just need to get to the church. We can't afford to banter. Sister Raspberry's waiting, and we do not want to get on her bad side. Weekly lessons are such a pain. Just think how beautiful life would be without them. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Just need to smile and nod and get her out of the door. Eventually, I'll have control of the uh, game. It just hasn't happened yet. Hmm, such a pretty day. Feel that breeze. It's absolutely perfect. Seriously, why do we have to coop ourselves up in a stuffy old church on a day like this? Hey, let's play hooky. Come on, Papiro, please. Huh, freaking teacher's pet is what you are. All right already. Let's just make our way to the church and get this over with. That's the spirit. Kinda. Time to mosey. Okay, I move around with the pad. I use a stick too. Okay. I'm using a PS4 controller. Circle switches control of your character. I love sitting by the fire. It's been so warm lately. I haven't had the hearth. Oh, okay, that's just for your storage. Oh, that's for storage as well, but that's for money. Wait, I can interact with the bed. And the book. My study desk has a bunch of old books from when I was a kid lined up along the back. Oh, that's her bed. Yeah, I guess we just get a move on. Something about this tree intrigues me. Oh no, he's a punster. Ah, nothing like an actual home. Been a while, you two, hasn't it? Who are you again? Piro, this is Philip, remember? Philip, Philip. Isn't he the middle child of the guard bros? The one who's like never in town? Who am I again, indeed? You obviously remember me just fine. It's clear that you haven't changed a bit since the last time we spoke. Unfortunately. Today's my day off. I only take one each month. Every other day I stand guard in front of the soup Superi remote labyrinth a short ways away. It's my duty as one of the guard bros. 
I gotta tell you, I'm pretty over it. Okay, I press pause to go to my options. Take a look at your stats and all that stuff. And then you can switch, like so. Oh, you can press triangle to go to... Which I guess is your inventory. This looks like the infirmary, not the church. I don't think we need it at the time. Where is the church, anyway? Oh, this must be it. When the moon hits my eye like a big pizza pie, that's Espina. Please don't do that. Well now, if it isn't little Papiro and little Pockle. How are you doing today? Well, I hope. Well as can be. You seem pretty well yourself, considering how old you are. Uh, Pepero? Manners? Ha 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 There is nothing more important for a child than to, to be than honest and open. A little rudeness and outspokenness never hurt anyone, uh, except the people that are affected by the rudeness. See, Pockle? She says it's okay. She said a little is okay. You passed that mark a long time ago. You must be Raspberry. Well now, good day to you, Papiro, Pockle. It's shocking to see you here on time. Yeah, well, we tried. Good day to you as well, sister. Good morning. Morning? Papiro, you do know how late it is, right? Oh, yeah, whoopsie. See, I just woke up, so it's totally still morning for me. <laughs> Honestly, oh, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Hope you haven't been causing problems for others. You haven't, have you? Huh. I expected better of you, sister. Such rudeness. I'll have you know I've been a perfect lady today. Isn't that right, Pockle? Totes. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. You have been. I mean, you actually put your dirty clothes in the hamper, and that's certainly something. Mm-hmm. That's not something to be proud of. That's something you should be doing anyway. At any rate, we do have a lesson to get to. Shall we? Yes, sister. Whatevs. I should move the mouse pointer. So, to recount from last time, Allegrim Valen was thrown into conflict 500 years ago. And it was the Great Sorcery War, waged between humans and demons. And it was fierce! The final battle of that war was fought right here on Argus. There were six demon lords in total, led by the fearsome demon lord, Vesper. And on the human side, our forces were led by... Poggle? Care to answer this one? And how? Our forces were led by the Holy Princess Tiara and the Holy Knight Paradise, right? That's exactly right! <laughs> I didn't even need to ask, did I? I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody knows about Tiara and Paradise, but it's just a fairy tale, right? Like, they didn't actually exist, did they? Of course they did. They even have graves up north in Klaproth. Fine, fine, whatever. I should know better than to speak up about paradise when you're around. I, I mean, why would you even doubt the stories? Don't you think paradise is super rad? Fighting a massive evil while protecting a princess and restoring peace to the land. He, he's my hero, my mentor, my idol. He's every boy's dream. Hi, here we go again. His eyes have clouded over. We lost him. Hey, <laughs> hey. There's nothing wrong with having an idol. Sometimes they're just what you need. Anyway, shall we continue? Please open your textbooks to page 80. Ah, what a perfect class. Don't you think that was super interesting, Papiro? No. 
It's the same old boring garbage as ever. I had to struggle to stay awake. Now, if you get her to teach us about spring trends, that would be a fab class. She's a nun, Papiro. Not an editor for one of your fashion magazines. And I mean, you're decent at magic. Doesn't Tiara's second coming interest you at least? No, nope, not in the slightest. Nothing anyone ever did in the past has any connection to me in the present whatsoever. My magic doesn't mean a whole lot in this modern age of aeroplanes anyway. Just for funsies. My fashion sense is way more important. You have no dreams, do you? Except for food. Huh? Who's that? I haven't seen him before. An outlander, maybe? There's not much over that way aside from our house, though. I wonder if he has some business with us. Oh. oh. Whoa, you, you think? He thinks the scout to be held? Who beheld my incredible cuteness and wants to make me an idol? Um, I'm gonna say no. He walked right by. Guess he must have some business at the shrine then. Huh, freaking pilgrimages, man. Get my hopes every time. Boring! Did you seriously think he was here to scout you? Actually, hold on a sec. What? You think he still might be? No, I'm just pretty sure the next plane wasn't scheduled to arrive until next week. So if he's here from off land, I guess the plane arrived early? What? This cannot stand! We absolutely must chase after that mystery man! Wow. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Don't be an idiot, Pockle. If the plane's here early, that means the fashion magazine I ordered is here early. Ipso facto, we hunt that guy down and demand he tells us when he got here. Oh, noble intentions then. Got it. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be here. If you drag a CD onto the gramophone, you can somehow listen to music. Write down anything? Yeah. Okay, that's where you save the game. Wait, where would he have gone to if he's not at the house? Does this count as a copy table? What would you even call this design exactly? Strange man just walked past his shed. Wonder who he was. He had some kind of mask covering his face. Though the oddest thing about him was the way he carried himself. Just by his gait, I can tell you he's got some skill to his name. Wonder what a man like him could want in a place like this. So he must have went that way. In here. Huh? We were talking inside. Sounds like arguing, actually. You certainly are pushy. But I can't allow just anyone back there. Especially when he won't even give me his name. This is a holy shrine. Containing our six holy idols. And it's my job to keep them safe. You leave me little choice, then. I'm afraid it's time for you to take a short nap. Huh? Nothing personal. Crap on a cracker! Who says that when they see a body like that? Man down! Man down! Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Paul. Paul! Speak to me, Paul. Stay with me, man. Yo, you alive, dude? Phew, that's a relief at least. He's just out cold. 
Doesn't seem injured at all either. Maybe that guy hit him with the back of his er, sword? Grr, stupid outlander! I knew he was trouble from the moment I first laid eyes on him. That's not how I remember it, but anyway, our mystery man must be back in the altar room. We have a corner now, so let's go give him a piece of our mind. You're suddenly rip roaring to go today, aren't you? Guess it can't hurt to bust our way in there and see what's what, though. He's just snatching them all. You! What do you think you're doing? We caught you red-handed, you mass creep! Well now, this is not a good time for you to walk in. I don't suppose you'd be willing to walk away and pretend you saw nothing here? In a pig's eye? Not after you finally attack one of our own, then try to steal our holy relics. You better put every one of those right back where you found it. Or else... Hiya! Damn! I missed! Uh, Papiro? Why would you just suddenly attack out of the blue and like that? And in here, of all places? I must admit, I'm surprised. I had no idea anyone was left with such proficiency in the ways of magic. Huh? Hey, Paul! Speak to me, Paul! What's happened here? What's going on? It seems I've overstayed my welcome. And so, I bid you adieu, valiant children. Most likely, we shan't meet again. Hey! Hold it right there! He disappeared. That was spatial manipulation magic. Teleportation. Damn show off. He probably knows that's the one field of magic I've never mastered. And that's the long and short of what happened. I see. Sounds like it's been quite the evening for you. Certainly more excitement than we're used to around here. Mayor, the thief got away with all six of our idols. What do you intend to do about this? By all accounts, it sounds as if our culprit is an outlander. Hmm, what shall we do about it, I wonder? The idols have a storied history concerning Princess Tiara, but have little material worth. If we were to sell them for scrap, heaven forfend, we get very little for them. Really? I didn't know that. And here I was actually kind of worried. I hope this experience didn't give me wrinkles. Piro! Mind your manners! It's improper to make light of such a dire situation! Wah! <laughs> no need to be so uptight. Piro's frankness is refreshing, if you ask me. Still, this is a uniquely complicated situation. The idols may not be worth much. But they're the symbols of the village. So we can't just shrug this off. What to do? What to do? Um... I'd have thought. Oh? What is it, Paco? If our thief plans on smuggling the idols out of Argus, he'll need a plane, right? So, he's gotta still be somewhere on the island waiting for the next arrival. That's a fair point. And with all the ruins in Argus, there's no shortage of places to hide out until then. Exactly. So, I'm gonna search for him. If I find him, I might even be able to get the idols back before something happens to them. Well... Oh... Sounds like a pain in the ass. I say, no way. Hey, Papiro! It took a lot of guts for me to volunteer like that, you know? Don't just dismiss it. Besides, nobody said you had to join me. I could do this on my own. Oh, so that's how we're doing this, is it? You can be pretty cheeky, you know that? But then, you are the younger sibling. Don't you younger sibling me. There's only one month between us. 
And stop acting so bratty. You just want to swoop in like paradise and save the day. But you won't stand a chance against Masky McMass face. He'd eat you for lunch. If there's anything left of you anyway, after the dungeon monsters did you in. Either way, your tale will be at an end almost as soon as it began. I'm not trying to tease you or make fun of you or anything. Honest. It's just, I think I said Mama and Papa would be if anything were to happen to you. Not to mention, me. Kipiro. And besides, without you around, what the hell would I eat? It'd be a disaster. And there we go. That's more in line with what I assumed you meant. Excuse me. Well now, this is a rare treat. We don't usually see you at the church, Plum. What can I do for you? I I'm not here to pray or anything. I'm here with a message for the mayor and for you, sister. It's in regards to the stolen idols. A message? From young Master Numa, I assume? That's correct. Master Numa has prepared a reward for anyone who succeeds in recovering the idols. And he wishes for you two, as the village's representatives, to spread the word about it. Hey, reward? What kind of reward are we talking here? 100,000 penne. It's not much, I know, but he feels it should be enough to supplement someone's income. That's a rare bit of generosity from the young master. Is he feeling alright? Oh, he's fine. I think he just wants to show the rest of the world how generous he is. I guess he figures he needs to make it look real good since he has a bit of a... reputation. But it's all just an act, I assure you. He's putting on some serious airs here. Anyway, message delivered. I think I should go before I say anything else. Bye now. Mom's a pretty one for sure, but I wouldn't want to cross her. That cool devil may care attitude though. Hmm, I just can't get enough. Oh, ho, Pockle. You got quite the discerning eye, I see. Mayor! And back to the topic at hand. As Papiro said, wandering the dang dungeons is not a course of action I think would be wise. This is a task better suited to Kite, perhaps? Mare! Whoa, Papiro, don't startle me like that. I know now that I was wrong. And I must do what I know in my heart to be right, lest I dishonor us both as cowards. To do nothing after bearing witness to so flagrant a crime, but a rage the goddesses. Thus do I, along with my dear brother, swear I shall aid in the recovery of the holy idols. We can see right through you, you know. Not literally, of course, but yes, your motives are beyond obvious here. Kapiro, sometimes I'm embarrassed to be related to you. Hmm? Well, so what? You know you can't do this alone, but with my magic, you might stand a chance here. Well, yes, I suppose that is an accurate statement. And this gives you a good excuse to go on an adventure, which will make you happy, right? And it gives me the chance to get some money for new clothes, which will make me happy. So it's win-win. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. I'm not even going to ask if you plan on splitting the reward money equally. Not that there's anything I want to buy anyway, I guess. Then we're in agreement. So, with Pockle on board, what do you say, Mayor? Sister? Honestly, now, I want to argue that this is a really bad idea, but it's really not. Will you give your blessing on this as well, Mayor? I don't see that I have much of a choice. If I tell them no, they'll just do it anyway. Besides which, they're 14 now. That's a good age for going out and seeing the world with one's own eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Buckle. Papiro. I want you to promise me you won't set foot into any dungeons beyond your skill level. And that you'll return here from time to time just to let us know you're okay. Do I have your word on these two conditions? Sure, whatever. You have my word. Our word. I solemnly swear.
That should just about do it for preparations. Our adventure begins here and now. Cool, cool. So, uh, Paco? Any idea where we're going? Like, at all? That's a fair question. We have numerous possible starting points. In that case, I say we start at Pavel Gardens. That place is super pretty and relaxing. Uh, maybe, yeah. Though we should probably begin with a general survey of all the places we can go. Maybe gather intel from our fellow villagers, like all true heroes do. There might be some clues to be found here in Puck yet, after all. We should also be sure to ask Kite for advice, since he's a former treasure hunter and all. Sure, whatever. Let's just go. I'm bored. Okay. So... Left trigger, select top option, and pet monitor is detailed. Detail another tutorial. Quick change equipped with left bumper. Quick change equipped on the right bumper. Okay, square. Quick use first consumable item. Okay, so bottom button is for attack, and you can charge it too. Okay, select just a quick drop of bomb. Okay, these are keyboard controls. Table of contents. Oh, so we can look at this stuff now. Okay, that's just going over cutscenes, I suppose. So we should probably talk to everyone. Welcome! Okay, so those are potions. Okay, paralyze be gone, poison be gone, freeze, petrify, confuse, curse. Come again! Sir, so I had a note to look for the stolen idols in? That's my way of saying thanks. I'd like you to have this book. I think it'll really help you. Item guide! Well, you're certainly the right person to give this to us. Because now, we can say we've been item guide. You never cease to impress me, Paco. So the purpose of this is to let you look up detailed info on items you acquired. I'm hoping it proves useful to you on your journey. Food is linked not only with healing the body, but promoting its growth as well. So if you can neglect your meals, you'll never get big and strong. On the flip side, if you don't ration wisely, you'll have no food when you need it most. It's your job as rookie adventurers to determine when and how much to eat. No surprise an item shop with such a variety of items will be using such fine tableware. Okay, I'm just gonna have to figure out how you actually do this kind of stuff. Oh, I'll tell you what contents, I guess that's for the items themselves. What do I have for equipment? Nothing. Paul was telling me a little bit about the thief. He's absolutely certain the guy who attacked him was using a guitar. Same as you. By the way, did you know that Qatar is actually a nickname for the Jamadar? And do you know why people simply started calling it Qatar instead? It's real interesting. The book that first introduced it actually mismatched the weapon's name and illustration. So beneath the picture of the Jamadar, it said Qatar, which is a totally different weapon. Pretty neat, huh? I thought it was called a Qatar because it's such a good cutter. Get it? Qatar? Get out of my house! Wow. The six kinds of equipment are headgear, body gear, gauntlets, shoes, accessories, and jewels. At any one time, you can equip only one of them of each of these types of equipment. Which means you can't wear, say, a helmet and a hat at the same time. My hat's off to you for the handy advice, <laughs> Hmm? Did you say something, Paco? Uh, uh, let's go with no, I didn't. 
Yeah, otherwise the prices will get jacked up. I gotta get used to the controls here. Oh, this one would be really good, but it's so expensive. It says magic attack plus one? Well, you get all this stuff, too. Oh, belly band. L plus two? What the hell does it mean by L? I don't... I don't understand this shit at all. Weak to wind? Let's just get some socks. I feel like the inventory system is just kinda weird. Let's just go with this for now. Okay, luck goes up by one. It says no equipment. Okay, I want to put it on. You have to put, like, keep it here? Oh, I have to press circle. That's... That's pretty dumb, too. So I'm vulnerable to water and wind right now. I'm not used to having to use circle to confirm things. Hard to believe a man in mask could sneak into town without anybody noticing him. It's no wonder the idols were stolen so easily. The people here are just way too trusting. You kids included. Learn into dangerous work by moronic fat ass promising you riches. You're as good as dead. Well, fuck you too then. Hey, Apocal, Kapiro. You two are headed off to catch the thief who stole our idol statues, are you? Well, I'll get a little present for you that just might help you out some. Hope you like it. A character memo. Thanks, Aria. But what are we supposed to do with this, exactly? That's up to you. Can't hurt to get to know everybody a little better, right? And this can help you do that. Here's hoping you have more luck with it than I did. Play things safe, yeah, okay. So someone actually stole the idol statues from the shrine? I don't know who the culprit is, but whoever it is, he surely incurred a divine wrath. Yeah, we'll watch ourselves. Oh, apparently our parents are dead. What are you talking about? Man, our pigs. Damn. The best place to find shrooms growing in vast quantities is, of course, Clop Caverns. The sheer variety of species within the depths of the caves is staggering. What a sight to behold, if you have the time. I highly recommend beholding it. So you're off to set off on an adventure, then? Perhaps I may be assistance to you in your travels. Please feel free to drop by anytime you like. Oh, you got some wares? If we know it, we can go it, so let's do it. Okay, we should buy a venture wing, then. Got 14 left. You're always welcome. I wonder if Plum is around. You just saw her. Yeah, this is a very gaudy place. The mirror tells me you two kids plan to go searching for the stolen idol statues. Seems a bit of a risky task for two children, though. Will you be alright? 
I'm a little bit inexperienced, admittedly. But I've been training in guitar combat every day. So I feel ready to test myself. Hmm, I am moved by your can-do spirit. I've decided. When this is over, I shall make you the doorman of my mansion. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Haha. <laughs> Doesn't need to give your answer so quickly. Take some time to think on it. I really don't need to. Trust me, I'm good. What else is in this place? I oh, thought there was something hiding up behind the wall. Why am I holding this weapon so awkwardly? Let's just get out of the village. I know we could probably get some more stuff, however... I wouldn't mind just look doing some things now. Let's check the Pavel Gardens first. Oh, we accidentally left. Level 1's over there. Should I write down everything you've done up till now? Yeah, please. Level 13 down there. Okay, so at least lets you know what places you can visit and what's recommended to go to. Oh yeah, you, if you don't have the Master's Key, you probably can't go there anyway. Does it open with some sort of mechanism? I guess that's to keep us from doing reckless stuff by going well below, well above our pay grade. Sure, I guess we'll check out the first area. Hope they hurt you on contact. So you really only attack with X, and you can charge. Okay, look at all this stuff we got. Oh, you can close the boxes again if you want to. Oh! Wow, that actually hit us from there. Okay, at least, uh, your sister will attack automatically. So you're not forced to constantly switch characters. Oh, it seems I have a full inventory already. Oh, uh, this gives you health? Sure, I guess I'll eat something. What's this? Over here. Okay. Oh, it gives you four experience as well? So I guess the more you eat, the more you get experience as well. That's interesting. gate opened. Oh god. What the hell happened there? That one little bit of contact nearly got me killed. This monster stun locked. How big a combo can I get?
I can do this all day. Instantly killed. That's all it took. This is level one. Why did that instantly annihilate me? Go back home. Okay, at least you save your stuff. I don't know if I lost money for that. Well, it doesn't look like I have. What's all those smiley faces next to my hearts? Paul should be well enough to release from my care very soon. I never heard of someone passing out without any other injuries whatsoever, however. Whoever did this is not your average everyday criminal. If you truly are searching for the idols, be warned. You'll be facing off with a pro. Don't let your guard down for even a moment. Okay. Paul, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Seems like I actually made it out of that without even a single in injury. I'm more concerned about you two, honestly. Are you really going after the statues? I'm so sorry to put you through all this. Don't we? We're happy to do it. You are? I have to admit, I'm surprised to hear that from you in particular. Hey man, your screw up means I might be able to make a hundred thousand penne. So if anything, I should be thanking you for failing so utterly at your job. That's the bureau I know. Oh hey, while you're in, while you're here, I'd like you to have this. Consider it my way of saying thanks for all the help. Scorebook? I received this from my bro Cyrus a long time ago, but never wound up using it. So it should be as good as new. Hope you like it. What does it even do? How are we done in each route? Oh, I didn't mean to exit right away. Um, tells us nothing, honestly. I guess we have nothing there. There's no time like the present to conserve water. What are you waiting for? Damn it, where the hell is it? This isn't funny. What's wrong? What are you looking for? Nothing. Don't mind me. It's not here then. You must have lost it outside the village somewhere. Lost what? Wow! I can see Caiaphas Woods, and even the Serpent Ruins from here! Nifty. Okay, let's talk to the person. Okay, fine, we won't. Uh, my first impression on this game... It's gonna take some work. Someone on the ground. By the way, when I move the stick, it somehow moves my mouse, too. Wait, did I not pick it up? Oh, it's just trash. Well, at least it's not clicking anything. But it just feels so weird that when I'm moving, my mouse moves too. I hear you set off on a mission to recover the stolen idol statues. As such, I'd like you to have this. I believe it may come in handy on your quest. A bestiary? This book offers you a place to jot down notes on the many 
monsters and demons you face. Refer to these notes later, you may find future encounters more manageable. Best of luck to you. Alright. Where else can we go to? Klaproth Holy Ground. see anything. They say the princess and the holy knight are buried here. It's kind of awe-inspiring. Well, at least he won't use a pun about dead people. Thank Christ for that. It's over this way. The Caiaphas Woods. Okay, place to save. What's the recommended level? Level zero? So I should have been going this way? Is that it? Okay, at least you can exit at any time. Uh, sneak attack. Looks like I can still pick up items even if the inventory's full. How do I know what item I need to select? to heal. It only just shows what's on the bottom. Oh! I accidentally dropped a bomb. It was a trap. This is gonna take some getting used to, I know it. I don't know, maybe I'll end up liking this game after a while. Oh, that worked easily. Giant skulls must be. Oh. get a lot of money from these enemies either. It's disappointing to say the least. Oh you gotta push the mushroom. It's not even embedded into the ground. the map so we have an idea of where we are. Mm -hmm. This looks like a rest area, but there's nothing else here. Oh, maybe I'll play as you for a while. Oh, you can't even push that. We're weak. So, 
That didn't have a yield of anything of value. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hit the gates from behind them to open them. Well, at least that means he won't get trapped. Alright, so I guess we were supposed to go through the garden after all. Because this didn't have much of anything. What other levels are needed to get through here? Ten? We won't be doing that. Thirty-three? Definitely won't be doing that. Twenty? Won't be that either. Lake Trip Tripoka? This looks like a cozy place. Well, no, if it ain't Paco and Papiro. What up? Hello. Guess you started your search for the idols, huh? Quite the undertaking. Ah, uh, well, we've only just begun. Hope it goes well. That's for us to worry about, though. Just keep on doing what you're doing, Mayor. Speaking of which, what are you doing? Like, why are you here exactly? Walking around to all the famous spots in Argus is my hobby. My passion, even. Who knows? We might run into one another again like this somewhere, fate willing. Lake Tripoka is the water source for all of Argus. Huck's famous sake brand, Bow and Arrows. He's even made from his waters. And these are hard waters, which is what gives it its full body robust flavor. I can tell by the look in your eyes that you want to try, but not gonna happen. Not till you're older. As your mayor, I forbid it. <laughs> the mayor is a drinking problem. <coughs> Excuse me. The Plop Caverns? The Daphne Desert? Oh, we, we have access to a whole lot of areas right off the start. It's up to us when's a good time to go to them. But I bet we have to go through each one eventually. Hold on, how do you... I wonder how you get to the volcano from here. Maybe you don't get to do that yet. Oh, there's the Serpent Ruins. Mount St. Canopy. The Strange Passage. Oh my god, there's a lot of areas. We can even go here. Hippolyta Hill. Huh? Do you hear something? It's like the cry of an animal. Where's it coming from? Oh dear Eliza. This bucket is totally unusable. Oh, please don't reference that song. Looks like somebody got roped into living here. There are totally animal noises coming from down this well. Did something fall in and get stuck down there maybe? Hmm. Too dark to really make anything out. Sure would be nice if we had some means of getting down there to check. Got a rope. Why don't we use it? Papiro, look! There's some rope. Ooh. We might be able to use this to get to the bottom of the well. Not sure we left it here, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind us borrowing it. Rope acquired. Hmm. And he uses a rope to climb down. Sure, why not? It 
So this little guy was the source of those noises. He's still just a puppy. What? It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Come here, buddy. Woof, woof. OMG! That is the cutest face in existence! I don't see any other dogs anywhere. Poor thing must have been left behind after falling in. If we hadn't come along, but we did. And I think we should keep it. I mean, we got a place for it to stay. Oh yeah. That doghouse dad built when we said we wanted a pet. It never did end up getting used. I always thought it was a shame it went to waste. Alright, then I guess we have a puppy now. You're gonna come live with us, buddy. Rehaw! Well, what do you think? From today onward, this is gonna be your new home. Ruff! So, what should we call you? Hmm... How about Pochi? Hey, that's pretty good. From now on, you're gonna be our little Pochi, okay? Isn't that great, Pochi? He's a good little Pochi. You are. Yes, you are. Whoopers. It's nice to see Papiro act girly for a change. It's been a long time. I'm gonna raise you to do all the work around here so I can take it easy. Yes, I am. <laughs> Congratulations, you are now a pet parent. From here on out, you may choose either to take your pet with you into battle, in which case you can give it some simple marching orders via the status menu, or leave it behind at home to keep it safe. Nah, just kidding, it's actually in even more danger if you leave it behind, because it will inevitably slip out and go on adventures on its own. But secretly, you have the option of monitoring it the whole time via the handy dandy pet monitor app that's been added to your HUD. Once you leave Puck or enter Numa's mansion, you'll see it on the top right corner of the screen, though you can minimize it if it gets too distracting. Don't ask how it's tracking your pet so effectively, however, because I have no idea. We'll just say that whenever you notice something like that, a wizard did it. Every now and again on its adventures, your pet will have a decision to make. And through some unspecified bout of telepathy, you can actually influence that decision. Just press the left trigger button or minus key for the first option, or the right trigger button or plus key for the second, if you prefer, if you can't make up your mind. Never fear, your pet will surely decide what to do on its own after a few seconds. But by influencing its actions, you can guide it more effectively on its quest. And what is it, its quest, you might ask? Well, that's simple. It's trying to take down the numerous Hellcats that have been terrorizing the neighborhood. There's one in each of the elemental dungeons, but beware. These Hellcats are formidable foes. They can only be toppled by the power of magic collars that match the element to the surrounding land. Where can you find these collars? Well, you, or more specifically your pet, will just have to explore and see. Note the elemental collars aren't usable, but the mere act of having found them is enough to grant your pet the power it needs to defeat its rivals. That's what makes them magic. Best not to ask too many questions. Um, sure. Do we have enough food in the bowl? We need the Snookums. Okay, wherever we can go to save our game. Actually, we can just do that at the garden. Still gonna take some getting used to, honestly. I think, like, in between episodes, I'll sort things out. Like, maybe get used to some tutorials here and there. Rather than just do them all here. At least the mapping we've done is already still there. Alright, so let's just stop here, and in the next episode, we'll check out this dungeon again. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.